whole block formation of just resistance nonsense. But right. I think perhaps another time. Yeah. I think the OGP uh, configuration is so interesting to me with the seven sister and the advanced sensors. Well, I mean, one thing Mark can do is he can just bump and reinforce and yeah, really absolutely. tank up. You know? um, he can also coordinate as well. Don't get me wrong. That will probably, I'd be surprised if that doesn't come into play at some point. Fair. Um, the setup here is nothing surprising in my opinion. Um, Neither of them wants to joust head on. What just happened? He 4K'd that defender. Mm-hmm. Huh. Okay. Well, I take it back what I said five seconds ago that nothing surprising was happening. Yeah, that's an interesting move. I I imagine Mark's trying to stall out an otherwise very fast shift. Um, 4K, then maybe 4K again, round two, and just buy some time while he figures out where uh, Brandon is going to go. Right. I think, yeah, he can 4K next turn, or he can do a three hard. Two hard. Either or. Um, three hard might be risky for him this turn. But, I agree. Uh, but... But yeah, um, unless he does like a three hard and then another four K again, and and lines himself up with his uh, Vader and his, I could see that happening. Right. Unsurprisingly, Brandon is slow rolling a little bit here. Well, and he he can because with fine tune controls, it makes sense for him to kind of do soft maneuvers and then commit after you know he sees where mark's sending his ships and just react um oh, except absolutely. for vader that's the one thing i don't think brandon's faced an i6 in this turn no, but he yet. does have sense and he could make decent use of sense and fine-tuned to maybe block vader potentially mm -hmm. uh some shield tokens got dragged out by Plo Koon there <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he just he just carried along broadside shield tokens. Oh, that. Hey, I mean he's got three. He's sure. rich with shield tokens and and two point oh. Now Vader doing the five straight and boost. Uh, no, I'm sorry, barrel roll. Uh, that's a that's a little interesting combined with the four K on the defender. I would. You know, I'm not surprised to see the shuttle stop there, mm -hmm. but I am surprised that Vader went faster. Maybe he's going for a Vader flank and I, I think he's going to flank and use the clouds. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Nice uh, thing about the defender is even if you catch him, you know he'll token up. He'll have focus evade, maybe something else from uh, OGP, and then next turn he'll be behind you. Oh, for sure. And also that, um, well, I was going to say that Defender is not very expensive, but it is 67 points. Mm -hmm. It's only three points cheaper than Vader. Scratch that. Yeah. Uh, Defender is still very expensive, all things considered. Now, apparently they didn't want a, three, a triple Defender meta. Well, and... you know, having survived that once already, I agree with their decision. <laughs> So I'll be curious to see how Brandon responds to the Vader flank possibility mm -hmm. here. Um, I mean, the um, one one tool that Brandon's got is ion cannon turret for Vader. He does, but that ion cannon wants to be targeting a few different ships at once right now. It, it's I mean, you could do some good things with that ion against the defender. That's you could do that that true. Against, um, the sh the uh, making that lambda shuttle unable to stop and create bump problems, mm -hmm. as well as it can't advance sensors. Um, it's the only one agility ship in the list. It's it's 
more than likely to take that ion if it, you know, if it gets. Hit. Oh, I why they stopped the clock. Do you have any uh, idea? It says in chat that Brandon, that uh, Mark stopped responding all of a sudden. So oh, my Mark goodness. Some connection issue. That's fine. That's fine. Every TTS game is going to have some hiccups here and there. Yes, it is. So I'll pause my clock, too. All right, now everything's everything's all good. Just a little miscommunication on there. <laughs> yeah, 4K. there's the 4K again. Yep, yeah, just the the defender just resetting itself back to its deployment space. Completely reasonable, frankly. Mm -hmm. Make sure the defender doesn't stay too far ahead of the shuttle. Right. You know, honestly, this is an opportunity. I, I, I want to say one of the coolest things I think they did with converting the ship from first edition to second edition was giving the shuttle that rear firing arc. Absolutely. I really, really like that. Even though if it's only a two dice gun, it has made the shuttle. I mean, it was already just a nice, really nice piece in 1.0, but now in 2.0, it actually can bring pretty consistent time on target some of the time. Right. The, the one thing i don't like about the shuttle is the red too hard i i hear you but it's it's kind of a consistent theme with some of those large mm -hmm. multi crew ships like i've been flying a trandoshan slaver for the uh for the corona cup myself and that too hard turn being red is is a pain sometimes but that's what you've got advanced sensors for as well right and i do remember hearing the designers talking about this once about how they respected the initial design of the Lambda, how they wanted it to be a, a hard to fly ship. And they probably just wanted to keep that going. Honestly, yeah, like the Lambda didn't need that much change. It was it was an effective piece all the way through the end of one. Um, if I remember right, the final 1.0 Worlds was um, a Palpatine shuttle and Imperial Aces versus mm -hmm. IG-88s, wasn't it? I think you're right. I do remember the IG-88s with the final 1.0 for uh, champion. Yeah, that, that was, was just a brutal MP list, in my opinion. Stress plus ion is just awful. I mean, uh, a little bit, but I can't blame the list, considering that was the environment of 1.0 at the end of that. No, that's slightly. fair. I mean, is it more MP than a ghost that just dials casual and shoot you four times uh, i mean that's that's fair yeah to, to me like any of the stress control and agency removal are never we're never as bad on the receiving end to me as just automatic damage that i couldn't do anything about okay High twin laser turret yeah fair you know uh i've flown i flew one game against five skurgs with tlt that was, that was i'm was sorry not fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right so so getting back to this game um brandon's still kind of slow rolling waging his op gauging his options um i'm guessing he's trying to trying to draw vader in um probably what he wants to see is whether or not mark will go through the clouds mm -hmm. uh or just bail out do a three bank to the right and come around through brandon's deployment zone mm -hmm. uh, and either way Brandon might have a good spot to come back around on Vader, but he's only got maybe one more turn of wiggle room before he has to just show his backside to that shuttle and, and defender. Mm -hmm. I like what Mark's done here. I, I know the 4K initially from the defender was strange. I, I mean, if you look at Mark's position right now, it's great. It is. It has absolutely. And, and, yeah, like initially it surprised me at first, but when mm -hmm. I started thinking about it, it did make absolutely a lot of sense, especially with Vader coming around on the flank. And there's the three bank in for the defender. So yeah, he's based Mark's basically saying, All right, you had to pick between going after the shuttle or going after Vader this turn. Um, because if you do if you go after Vader, then then the defender and the shuttle are gonna have flank shots on you. Mm -hmm. And the defender can do can go either direction now next turn can do anything but straight 
Yeah, straight looks bad. Well, three straight would be fine if you barrel rolls, but uh... three straight might be dicey. I mm. my gut says that would just barely clip the front of that gas cloud there, but yeah. I've I've been wrong about that before, especially <laughs> on TTS. Sure. That's why I'm constantly, whenever I'm playing, I'm spinning the camera around this way and that, zooming in, zooming out, mm -hmm. like trying to get different angles. I mean, one thought I have is he's got the cloud there. So he, does. he could not worry about getting an evade and do something crazy, like a one bank with a defender or something like that, or two bank next turn, uh, or two Very straight, much, you know? Yeah, he, he absolutely could. Um, you know... If, don't underestimate the defender that just decides it's going to slow roll because mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people get into the pattern of just expecting the defender to always go fast. And right. Especially, I, I forgot for a while that they have one banks, and it's just, it, that catches me a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of us 1.0 players also forget that they have boost. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, uh, OGP could even coordinate him a boost before he moves. So he could oh, like, a, yeah, he could boost him to the left, and then he does a four K, and yeah, that's you know. a great point. And yeah, he could, um, he could stop advanced sensors a barrel roll, and then the right. defender could actually do a three to four straight. Yeah, right. Um, though, if it were looking at the game state as it is right now, I if I were in to. Mark's position, I mm -hmm. think he would coordinate the barrel roll left and then I, go straight. I agree. Or a left in a bank, you know, something like that. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, it's weird that the I-1 defender could be in a flanking position next turn, but he absolutely could be. Mm -hmm. So Brandon kind of not quite splitting the difference here, but, mm -hmm. but definitely coming in and, um, you know, Ahsoka's in a reasonable spot to challenge Vader mm -hmm. if Vader comes through the gas clouds in the middle. But something tells me that Mark probably went to the outside, um, just erring on the more squirrely side of things. Do you think that Brandon is telegraphing um, with his Y-wing, with it having the left turret? Because I... Um, sorry, I, mean, I didn't mean to cut you No, off. you're good. Uh, I don't think so, at least not at this point, because um, when he deployed, he was sitting in the in that far back corner, and mm -hmm. that was you know, pointing towards the outside is just the more logical place for it to go. Um, I will say, I think if that turret doesn't, you know, the turret didn't move. So That's what I'm saying. Probably. I mean, if Vader goes hard out to the outside of the board, then mm -hmm. Broadside's still in a position to threaten either or. He can do a two hard turn or three hard turn and still possibly cause some trouble for Vader. Right. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking it looks more like Brandon is going in on the shuttle and the defender to me. Right. I think the, I think Broadside's going to be banking right next turn. I would agree with that. Because I, 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 I think do. Brandon would have taken his turn to move his turret if that if if he was going to turn into the the clouds. I think he would have flipped it to the other side, or to the side, or maybe to the front. Yeah, yeah. And he yeah. Just, Brand, Brandon just gave him room to go straight even if he wants to. Mm -hmm. Now Vader going. That's an interesting spot. That's not what I would have expected. Well. Uh, it's good that it lets him go left or right, right? He can... Did he barrel roll or he just turned? Uh, Vader did a bank left two. Uh, yeah, so he can... not anything else yet. He can decide... Oh, he's looking for a target lock? He did look for a target lock. So he's done. But he can still get it. He can still, like, lock a gas cloud. And then he's... Yeah, he's Vadering for a barrel roll, yeah. That's um, true. He can do that. Okay. And that, that barrel roll to the outside is uh, is completely fair. That's what I was surprised at was that Vader turned in so shallowly. Mm -hmm. That was really smart of Mark to take the target lock um, to see if he's in range 
Oh, yeah. And then use that information to barrel roll, and he'll get the force back, and he's lost nothing. And he's yeah. just got to react. You know? Yeah, absolutely. And what, what's nice about that is that, like, because you can still validly target lock obstacles, he can guarantee the action isn't just going to fail. He right. can still get his Vader. Oh, so it looks like we've got some fire over here. So just so you know, there's like a five second delay to Twitch with the audio or the video. It's weird. The audio is like right on. The video is a little straight. Okay. So we kind of just wait for all the dice to finish up before we start talking. Or I tried to. I did a terrible job of that last weekend with Gene. He's like, dude, <laughs> stop it. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, okay, so so... Obi one shot two dice at a defender and he rolled two eyeballs. Yeah, now is is that is that is that Obi one uh that was his role was the two eyeballs? I think so. Yeah. I think you're right, yeah. And he's just deciding whether or not he's gonna spend his focus. It looks like the answer is no, which I completely understand. Uh Obi Wan's down one force and he's staring he's gonna take another shot back at him, so And yeah, as I think you're right. If he hadn't been down a force, I think he would have spent. It. You gotta be careful with the with depleting your force on those Jedi. I agree. Um, that's one of the reasons I love flying Mace Windu is because I find there's a quick and easy way to get his force back. Mm-hmm. Especially with the R5 Astromex, um, Brandon probably wants. To wow. Work. Ooh, that's not good. That's that. An early damage plinked off of Obi Wan. But the nice thing that Brandon's got going for him is he's got Rage in, so he can get it back. He can't get the shield back though. That shield is That's gone true. forever. That's true. Um, but yeah, the the R five Astromex are. I, I can I can definitely see the appeal of them, especially on Jedi when they're so R two is so expensive. Um, and the the R five, uh, they still get their normal action, or they still get to uh, boost or barrel roll at least at the cost of a mm -hmm. force, so they can do that and then regen if they so choose. But uh, if uh, if Mark lands a crit in there, then that's actually going to cause a huge amount of problems for him. Oh sure. I mean. Least surprising sentence ever uttered in X-Wing. A crit is going to cause problems <laughs> for someone. Well, with R5, I know you can, even if it's a, a crit that you can't action over, right? You can uh, you can use R5 to flip it to a damage, but then you'd be probably expending both of your R5 tokens to get rid of one net damage. Yeah, and, and that's two, not only both your tokens, that's also two action. Right. Um, and it's... it's you, and you can't even do both of them in one turn like you can, mm -hmm. like, shenanigans. I don't even think there is a shenanigans way to do that, even if you coordinate it or something. Uh, because they probably count as the same action, right? I, like, you can't gonk and then gonk, right? Well, I think you would coordinate, and I think you would coordinate, so say you could coordinate the OB-1. He could take an action. The action would be to flip the card. And then on his turn, his action would be to R5, not to do an action oh, on the card, you see? I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying, yeah. And I, I, you know, we're talking about if he can possibly coordinate. Ahsoka's on the board. Of course he can coordinate. That's true. He could totally do that. Yeah, but Ahsoka's, Ahsoka's out, out, way out there, and, he's, and she's got to be at zero to one. Um, that's the dilemma. So yeah, she's... but she has to be at zero to one after she moves, but before the other ships move. So that's fairly reliable. You can yeah, she, I mean, if, she, if he really wanted to do that, he could one harder for sure and, and do it. Though but... that's not something you'd want to do this exactly. time anyway. In fact, yeah. it looks like Ahsoka is splitting off from the pack to go at threaten Vader a little bit, which I'm... Uh, I don't know. I mean, that... He maybe Brandon will send broadside with Ahsoka. Mm -hmm. I could see that, or, right. or maybe maybe he'll just turn the entire list in on the defender and the shuttle. 
I think that's more likely because if he went fast uh, with Ahsoka this turn or this this coming up turn, he could have a cloud in the way of Vader, and Ahsoka would take like no damage probably or one. Yeah. So he could focus in on the defender this next turn. He might send Ahsoka up to block. Actually, come to think right. of it. But yeah, um, I think I think uh, my my money's on Brandon's whole list. Most of Brandon's firepower coming in on the shuttle and the defender. It could be, and maybe it's going to be depending on whether Mark stops this turn. He could stop with the shuttle uh, and reinforce, or give the defender a coordinate. He reinforced. Which he did just reinforce. He stopped reinforced. Mm -hmm. So oh no, he advanced sensors reinforced. He advanced okay. sensors reinforced, then bumped, which is even smarter. So he's not stressed. Yeah, that makes that makes perfect sense. And then three bank from the. Uh, which is totally fair. Uh, mm -hmm. That puts... I mean, I, I felt like Obi-Wan's one move this turn was probably the one bank. Um, Yeah, one bank seemed like the most... One or two bank would have been my guess for Obi-Wan mm -hmm. this turn as well. He probably uh, hopes... Is... Yeah, he, I, I think Brandon hopes he did. Or, uh, if, you're, if you're rooting for Brandon, hope he did a two bank this turn. <laughs> Honestly. Now the question is then, what did Plo do after, and did they cause a chain reaction? Yeah, fair. That's what I thought Ahsoka was going to do was a two, and he's got CLT. He does have the CLT. But on a reinforced ship. That's the downside. Reinforced with a force token, just ready to go. So that's a, that's a pretty tanky um, shuttle. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, he could take one damage from a fully modified shot, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's a, a so he finds him a boost okay. probably, and I assume he's going to focus. And that's a uh, is that now range one for both of them? I don't know. If you're in the game, you can check it out. I'm going to leave the, the thing the way it is. I think that's the range one shot from the mm. uh, from Ahsoka to the shuttle. I'm looking at the... I'm trying to like gauge two and a half base lengths. I think you could be right. If so, he can shoot four dice, right? But so can the shuttle, because that looks like that's an Fair arc point. for the shuttle as well. Fair point. Although the shuttle doesn't really have uh, a whole, whole lot of offensive mods right now. All right. Oh, intro. Okay. Well, yeah. Um, that's fair. That's smart. So, he, so Ahsoka used her ability, ability. to give herself a so reaction. So he fine tuned yeah. and Ahsoka, quote unquote. That's really cool. That's very interesting. Yeah, he doesn't have CLT anymore, but now he's taking an uncontested shot. Right. And Vader, who I was thinking might actually come in and flank Ahsoka as well, probably doesn't have a shot on Ahsoka. I think Vader's going straight. I think I think so too. Vader's probably doing like maybe a two straight, maybe a three bank, but I, I don't really see the three bank. That just seems a little... Mm -hmm. He did a red barrel roll with... Uh... Broadside. He sure did. You know, one straight and a red barrel roll. That's interesting. Um, I mean, it puts Broadside in a uh, difficult spot for Vader, but without a focus, I don't know how much Vader is going to be worried about that. Wow. Oh, wow. And that clears the gas cloud, too. Well, okay. <laughs> Color me surprised. Well, did he? So you're in the game, so you can see if he clips the glass gas cloud or not. He did not. Wow. He did not clip the gas cloud, and I'm I'm like pulling my camera down to like <laughs> table height, and it's like missed it by the width of two nubs. Wow. 
And also, also Obi-Wan's nubs are like interlocking with the Delta Squadron. That's, I cannot believe that landed. Man, mm. man. It sounded like Brandon was pretty surprised too, actually. I bet he was. So, okay, so he's barrel rolling. Was that? I guess that was a fine tune barrel roll because he uses a force. Yes, yeah, seems like it. Barrel roll and focus, just to get that CLT in there. Makes that sense. makes sense. I don't think there's much Plo Koon could do. Well, he could well, he fine could tune barrel roll and then boost for his action, couldn't he? Yeah. Um, and if I were Brandon, I would absolutely do that. He does not need to be taking a range one shot from a defender. Right. It's a good thing Juke seven points. That's all I'm saying. Otherwise, defenders would be brutal. <laughs> yeah, defenders are brutal enough just having seven health and three evade and three attack. <laughs> yeah. Uh so if he barrel rolls right, I think it's a safe bet that he is going to be uh, boosting, boosting out of right. arc. Yeah, there's no reason to unless you're going to boost have, I would actually bank boost to the right to what? do the... What? Oh, interesting. Well, and he could be looking down, you know, I guess I'll I'll get in there and do a top-down view. Um, now that I don't necessarily agree with. Um, oh. Oh wow! Invader slow rolled a lot more than I was expecting. Yeah. And he's target locking Ahsoka because yeah, that's that's because absolutely that's what, what you want to do there. Uh, probably barrel roll just to get him away from that gas cloud. I would expect. He could focus Link to a barrel roll and save a force if he wanted to do that. True. And he did Vader for a uh, focus there, so that Link barrel roll is still an option. I keep forgetting that Link to barrel roll is a, does oh, exist. Great. As a... I, I played Vader at World, so I'm quite familiar with it. I mean, it's ridiculous. Vader could do four actions in a turn uh, if you wanted oh, yeah. to. Right, he's spending the force for the barrel roll instead of taking the stress. That keeps his is, dial open. It, it does. It does. Um, like you know, it's it's uh, both of them are. Um, neither option is is uh, both have their advantages. Rather, I yeah. should say. Um. And you know he's free and clear of broadside as well. Um, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, range four broadside. Yeah, broadside's not even in range. Uh, not by much, but yeah, yeah. The range one on yeah, two. we know. Is unsurprising. We know, yeah. Mark. <laughs> what a crappy roll. So yeah, no, that's about average, honestly, for four dice getting two hits. Well, he does the ATC hit to crit then. Spins his target lock, picks them up, rolls them. That's pretty dang good. Two hits and That's two crits. Good. That's going to hurt. Yeah. Because you know a crit's going to go through. That, that is uh, two crits going through. One's to the shields and one's to the hull. I'm sorry. I'm preempting, preempting the dice results no, they, over here. On it's the good. Uh, Twitch is only a few seconds behind you. But maybe, uh, maybe they oh. improve things. That's unfortunate for Ahsoka. Just took it? a loose stabilizer. Loose stabilizer. Wow. Must go straight or suffer damage next turn. So no K turn or two sloop, which would have been great. Yeah, or or you know two sloop would have been great. Uh, one hard turn would have also been great. Anything but a straight, honestly. Yeah. And Plo Koon rolling double eyeball through the cloud. Vader through the cloud. He's not gonna. He's not bothering to spend his force for that. And I. That's that's yeah. Vader still has a focus plus the gas cloud. Nothing's happening. From right. That. So 
So it looks like uh, Obi Wan on OGP. Yeah. So Brandon's putting that extra eyeball out there, just so we know. Sure, sure. Not a great situation. No. I actually two. think maybe he doesn't do it because he'll take one damage either way. He spent the force to he flip spent that, it, so, so he'll do hits. he'll do one damage to a DB. Mark's yeah, not even and, rolling. And, yeah, because it doesn't matter what Mark rolls, he's gonna you know the reinforce will bring it down to one, or the evade will bring it down to one. Right. Honestly, I think Brandon and Mark both played this turn really, really well, with the exception of broadside. If there's one early mistake, one early thing that might cascade in Mark's favor, it's broadside hmm. being a little bit of an odd spot. Here. I the reason why I like broadside spot, I'll just be honest, is because the defender can't do anything to him. I think that's the reason he barrel rolled is to protect him. That's fair. That's fair. Because you know next turn, the defender's either going to get a bad shot or no shot on broadside. So he's yeah. protected half its health, basically. That's a that's a fair point. Yeah, that, that bail roll did save the defender from being shot, for sure. Though, broadside's options next turn are very limited. Yeah, I, I think he can one straight, though. He can one, one straight. But a one straight is something that Mark could easily... Um, well, he can't one bank because that'll keep the stress. One uh, banks I are thought not blue. one banks are blue on the Y-wing. Not on the Republic Y-Wing. It is oh. one and two straight only. Oh. The Republic Y-Wings hate having stress. Mm. I see what you mean. He's got to go straight. So this is OGP. Shooting at, I'm not sure who, probably Obi Wan. Leave Obi Wan, I would assume. So Obi Wan's fine because OGP yeah. rolled so badly. One hit, one evade, yeah. Oh, one hit on three dice is maybe a little below average, but not. Right. When you don't have any offensive mods aside from a single so, force. I yeah. I think that's what Mark was probably hoping for was hit eyeball blank. Yeah, and Mark uh, did take another shield from Ahsoka's shot as well on his shuttle. We, just, okay. we, we passed over. Let me fix that. We were just kind of talking about broadside while they were making their exchanges. <laughs> yeah. Make sure I got everybody updated. Okay. Thanks for reminding me on that. Oh, sure. I was, I was just kind of sweeping through the, the uh, field and taking a look at what everything was and seeing the second shield down on the... So, Mark, uh, definitely coming out ahead so far. Mm -hmm. um, especially that crit on Ahsoka is brutal. Mm -hmm. um, I almost think he wants the shuttle probably to... Well... He didn't stop, right? He could stop this turn, but I think he probably wants to go forward so he can shoot Ahsoka. Probably. Oh, a very interesting situation just occurred to me. Mm. Because Ahsoka Tano's ability has the same activation or timing window as Loose Stabilizer, is it theoretically possible for him to do a two sloop proc Ahsoka's ability to flip? loose stabilizer with an action oh, before it actually triggers. I think he could actually do that. I think he can. It means that Ahsoka is out of force, but that's probably something Mark would not see coming. I could see Brandon doing that. The question is whether or not he realizes it, because that, that took me a minute as I like just flying over to Ahsoka and just having my camera hovering over there as we were talking about it. But they're both after you completed a maneuver. They are. Uh, okay. Ahsoka says after you fully execute a maneuver, and a loose stabilizer says after you execute a maneuver. Hmm. So they do have the same timing window. 
That would be a good move because I think it pretty much guarantees Vader's not going to shoot Ahsoka if he does a two sleep. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the shuttle may get a shot, but it's still better and than Vader. Ahsoka is still at half health, so... Mm-hmm. Uh, that shuttle could actually, if the shuttle did say like a one straight um, with an advanced sensor's focus, uh, that could mm -hmm. still be a two to three dice gun on Ahsoka that could end her, but because she would have no tokens at that point. Right. No four. It's a very cool move, but I'm thinking the more I think about it, the not more, ugh, excuse me, I'm sorry, the less I'm certain it would be a great plan. Mm. Maybe maybe just doing a non-straight maneuver that's not a sloop, using Ahsoka's ability to fix it, and then focusing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Regardless, I think the uh, the defender does uh, either a 4K or a three turn. Yeah, I mean, Brandon could do, I don't know, a two straight with Ahsoka. Um, you know, fine tune, flip it, and get like pretty much the same place, right? Like be in front of Vader so the Vader either blocks or, or goes past Ahsoka. You get the same result, right? Um, but it does mean you're like not going to be shooting something. That's so. assuming that Vader chases Ahsoka and maybe not like Obi Wan. Well, I'm just saying. I think you want to just not give Ahsoka. You don't want to give Vader a shot on Ahsoka if you're Brandon this turn. Oh, just, sure, sure. Right. So if if Mark's going after something else, great. Just don't kill Ahsoka this turn. Yeah. Um, I could see Mark going after Plo Koon because Plo Koon's uh, placement this turn might... His his options seem a little limited, like maybe a one hard turn seems like the obvious play. I think that's what I was thinking. But because it seems like the obvious play, Brandon might squirrel past him. These are two players that have played against each other a bunch. Right. And when you get to that point that you've played against the same person multiple times... You start getting into that loop of, mm. but does he think that I think that he thinks? <laughs> sure. Princess Bride territory. The one I have the most trouble with is, yeah, I, I'm not sure what the shuttle's going to do, and I'm not sure what Obi-Wan's going to do. That's... I... Oh, Obi-Wan spent his force to sense on Vader. Uh -huh. Aha. One straight on Vader. Okay. The very non-committal move on Vader's part. Well, that's a good move, I think. So it is. It is. Um. So this will be interesting because the sucker could just block him up, and Vader has no actions. There's the 4K. That's that's fair. Yeah. Um, I, I, part of me really liked the three hard turn, but I also recognized that it was probably pretty easy for Brandon to not be an arc of the defender. At that yeah, point. it was, it was going to take him out of the game effectively two turns. Yeah. When, when Brandon blew past the defender, it meant the, the defender wasn't going to be actually material to the game for two turns. Maybe. Um, I'm so actually surprised that Mark didn't boost in. Like, take the evade and then take the action. That would have been forward. good, I think, because the defender's probably not going to take any shots. Part of, I wonder if he was worried that Broadside would do a one straight and rotate turret, but that would still be... He could. He could still be in range, too, if he does a one straight and rotate. Oh, looks like the shuttle advanced, censored, coordinated a focus to Vader, and then stopped. Oh, I love that. I love that move. I like that. Oh no. I did not think that one straight would bump. I thought it might, but still could be the right move. I mean, I don't think it's a bad move, but uh yeah, that's unfortunate. Broadside still having no actions. So Ahsoka that's did what I was thinking. Do a two straight. Um 
Brandy's probably looking to see if Vader did a one straight, would he be an arc? I would think. Um, if he thinks there's a chance, he'll probably fine tune a barrel roll and then flip loose stabilizer. That's what I would think Brandy would do. Or he uses Ahsoka's ability to flip loose stabilizer anyway. Oh, sure, sure. But, um, yeah, Vader doing a one straight. I don't think he, I don't think Vader can do anything to keep, to get Ahsoka in arc with that one straight. So, mm -hmm. um, maybe he does a barrel roll to the outside, but uh, I think Ahsoka is pretty safe this turn. On yeah, I'm gonna look at the. I can't change my camera anymore. I can do this though. I think you're right. Looking at it, kind of more of a top-down view. I think uh, Vader's not going to be an arc of uh, Ahsoka, and he won't be able to barrel roll. No, Vader. Ahsoka will be right there next to him. And we know, uh, we know the shuttle after Mark's clever trick of bumping last turn and stopping this one. He's still he's going to have to do some kind of forward motion. Yeah, the shuttle yep. next turn. He can't advance sensors. So and yeah, Brandon using Ahsoka's ability to flip loose stabilizer mm -hmm. there. Yeah. I'm going to have to ask him after the game if he realized that he could have played that fun trick or if he just decided that the two straight was better anyway. Because right. honestly, I could see that one going either way, frankly. But when I was thinking about it a minute ago, what I liked about the two straight was I thought you might be kind of in the armpit of the shuttle and therefore yeah. take no shots. The defender was going to 4K. Uh, you wouldn't be an arc of the shuttle. You'd be blocking Vader. You're fine. Yeah, absolutely. No, you're you're absolutely right. Not only that, Ahsoka has a range one shot on the shuttle herself. Mm -hmm. Great point. So yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Regardless of fun shenanigans, the, the two straight was actually probably just the correct move. Oh, barrel roll interesting uh, maybe he was thinking well i mean maybe he was thinking along the same lines whether it's like i just don't i just want to be sure uh that or he's trying to set himself up for next turn i mean if he can start shooting vader from behind that's a good place for Ahsoka to be yep last thing i was gonna say is maybe he's getting out of obi-wan's way but then obi-wan does a two turn which fair enough sure Obi, one who's low on force because he sensed. Yeah, yeah, spending his last force for a fine tuned booster bail roll. Probably a boost, I would expect. Oh, no, that works too. Yeah. I think he's looking for the the uh, bullseye arc. Yeah, I think he's looking to trade shots with Vader at this point, although might try to block Vader. I don't think he can block it with a one straight. Oh, you think he'll boost for his action? I think he might. I, I think oh, he's going to boost in. That would be smart. Straight. That would be. He's. Yeah, I think you're right. That would be really smart. There it is. Yeah. Uh, that's just blocking. Vader. And he did the straight. So next turn, he can do whatever turn around yeah. he wants to do. Yeah. Sets himself up very nicely for a two sloop next mm -hmm. turn. Smart. And there's Plo with the one hard turn that was the, right. the, the seemingly obvious play. Therefore, who knows if it's actually going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, great use of sense there by, mm -hmm. by, uh, by Brandon just to guarantee that Vader can't uh, do something nasty over here, especially to like Plo Koon now. Right. This was, I just want to say these maneuvers from... Brandon and Mark, what a chess match. They're oh, really so. well thought out moves here. I'm assuming oh, Mark's oh. not going to spend the focus to modify that. Nope. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would I would assume he spends nothing just because he's already down one force. Mm -hmm. And I assume Plo Koon's going to shoot the shuttle and try to get it to half. Yep. Yeah. He's got the shuttle in bullseye, so probably. No reinforce. He's got three dice. The shuttle will have one. He's got a force. 
I think it's the right call. He could get him to half this turn. Yeah. He's got the focus ready for, for CLT, so he doesn't even have to spend his force. There you go. Ooh. Oh, interesting. He spent the force for it. I I thought he would. Well, why did he? Because he's not going to... I guess the defender's going to shoot him. I guess he's worried about the defender, but um, from where I'm sitting, the defender has a lovely range two shot on. Oh, Ross. you know what? It doesn't matter. He spent one force. He's going to get it back next turn. It literally doesn't matter. Oh, OK. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. He just did the two, the one turn and focus with mm -hmm. more fine tuned. So, yeah. No, that that's fair. Regardless of what happens later, it's just the best conservation of resources. So the shuttle actually got an evade, which means that uh, no. he didn't take a crit. Yeah, and the shuttle is still above half, which means the uh, Y-Wing is now taking a shot at the shuttle. For a single hit. He's got a force. He'll probably be fine. We're fine here. Or natties. Well, exactly as many natties as he needs, I guess. <laughs> God, so there's there's as many dice scattered around this table as <laughs> there. Uh... And yeah, the the defender taking the range two at the uh, at broadside for ooh oh for two it's a. An... Yeah. Now why did that convert? Because of broadside, broadside's ability. Oh yes, yes, that's right. The ship ability. Mm -hmm. So actually, we haven't seen broadside. Why is broadside? Oh, did he rotate forward? No, he bumped. Broadside bumped, so the turret is stuck to the side there. So how is he shooting three dice at the? Oh no, the shuttle shooting broadside. Gotcha. Yeah, the shuttle. The defender did two damage to broadside, and now the shuttle has done two damage to broadside. And gotcha. broadside is at half. Immediately from that, broadside is in trouble. So is broadside in half though? Uh, yeah, eight health total, four damage on the ship. But the damage card is a Sokus. No, there's also now a card on broadside as well. The Roger that. It wasn't. It, it wasn't in my view. Thanks, man. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. I was preempting everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The, these guys are also playing real fast, so I'm. <laughs> Which you know what? Totally fair. Nothing wrong. Uh, with this that. is cool. Yeah. But yeah, the the shuttle rolled uh, uh, at least a hit crit nat natively, and then uh, spent force right. for the second hit. And broadside downgraded the crit, thankfully, because he did take that card. Mm -hmm. So Mark has done forty four points, which can't be taken away from him. So yep. the uh, you know if he if he damages Plo Koon in in Obi one. Brandy can regen out of it, but these points so far, they're 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 here to stay. Yeah, um, Brandon still has the ability to come back from this. I mean, he's not, oh, I he's agree. not down by much. Um, broadside, I, I would expect to see die next round. Um, so the real question is how much Mark is going to commit to killing him. Mm -hmm. Um. The Y Wing's dial is opened up now, so. I don't know if Broadside dies this next turn. From if where it... I'm. I, I don't know. If he, could, he could even do a three bank, possibly, in clear flow. Um... He could. Um, or one straight then, and the defender doesn't get a good shot. You know what I mean? So there's um He's got some I'm, options. He does. Uh what I worry about is that um anything that broadside does to to kind of turn to the left means that uh he's competing his actions are competing with whether or not he wants to rotate his arc or yeah. take the focus for his action. Fair. Fair. So his arc is still to the left, right? 
it is um it absolutely is and like last turn he was looking at doing the one straight to clear his stress what i was thinking was you know whether or not he's gonna rotate or take the focus but he took the bump so well it took the bump the bump happened right and that option was removed from him and now that choice has gotten a little more dire i feel mm -hmm. like so one interesting thing going Brandon's way is he's going to get the free sense on Vader this turn. He is going to get the free sense on Vader, absolutely. Um, and Plo could block Vader. Plo, uh, Plo could block Vader. The broadside could also go for the block on Vader. I could. See that's that. true. Um, one thing I was thinking about is what if Mark does a one bank to the right for the shuttle and goes to block Plo Koon and, and broadside? I, I think one right bank on the shuttle, that's the move I would go for, for several reasons. He's extremely likely to get a shot on broadside, for one. Um, he gets, he stays in range two of both his other ships so he can coordinate. Mm -hmm. And... It looks like the game is going to go up to the left, right? Like uh, Obi Wan's going that way, Ahsoka's up there, They're kind of in the top of the top of the map that we're looking at, right. and the shuttle can start going into a position where he'll still be effective, useful um, as the engagement moves around the map. So I think, yeah, one right bank is what I see him doing. But and, he did and, uh Brandon did in fact sense Vader doing the two bank. Okay. Um, two bank does make sense as just to try to get a kill shot on broadside. I was, and thinking... I think it's unblockable. I think the two bank is unblockable. That's now what's that's, so good about it. Oh, I didn't. That's see that. a very interesting move from the shuttle, but I don't hate it. I don't either because it may protect. Mark from losing half on the shuttle and still getting a shot. Um, yeah, it it, uh, it actually puts the shuttle in a decent spot to get a kill potential kill shot on Ahsoka this turn. Mm -hmm. uh, and the the Delta, I'm actually kind of surprised the Delta the defender went three straight and supposed to slow rolling a little bit, and now broadside is in fact not an arc from. Well, he was either going to be an arc or he was going to have a cloud between them. That's why I, I liked the one straight. Oh, uh, I like the one straight on broadside. I'm just surprised the defender went three straight instead fair. of like maybe two. Well, the defender could get a better shot on Ahsoka maybe than shooting a bad shot at broadside. So we'll Absolutely. See. Mark does have uh, a couple of targets that are limping, but still alive. Mm -hmm. If my experience has taught me anything, is that a one health ship is something you should fear. <laughs> <laughs> YOLO. Yeah. It's a, it's a ship that has nothing left to lose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so a barrel roll from Ahsoka makes sense just to get mm -hmm. out of that potential range three shot of uh, the def Looks um, like he's going to do... So he did a 4K with Obi-Wan. I mean, that's fair. Uh, sure. Like we said before, Obi-Wan's options were wide open last mm -hmm. turn. So 4K makes, total, makes perfect sense. Um, wow. That's wow. a great move. That is, such that a, is a fantastic spot for Plo Koon to be. Because Mark's going to have to make the decision about getting in Broadside's arc or taking the CLT. So, I mean, right now he's in Broadside's arc and has the CLT. So mm -hmm. in my opinion, the barrel roll left makes a ton of sense. Sure. Uh, whether he spends the force for it or or does the stress and he's spending the force so that's that's fair he would yeah he wants to be able to k turn i think if he does the barrel roll next turn so and he's still at range one of broadside so uh so he's going to take a target lock we're just going to spend a ton of force here guys 
Well, honestly, um, sure. if I'm Mark, I'm looking at, like, let's make sure Broadside dies before he gets to shoot. And I don't even a little bit disagree with that. No, no, so I think it's a good... you got to go for blood. It's good. Now, these are all great moves. Love them. I mean, the two, two bank was such a good move because it was unblockable. I loved now, it. an interesting little interaction is mm -hmm. that because um, Brandon has to modify dice first. A crit will be on the dice by the time broadside. That's moves fair. Events. And they're just discussing what's the timing of that right now. Which, yeah, it's, I it's, thought it uh, was during neutralize for Brandon. I think Brandon's no. Later. It's defender modifies results, and then attacker modifies results. Well, did you just see he just modified it? Well, he there was no crits on the dice, so he can't. Well, no, uh, Mark modified it to crit, and Brandon modified it back. Oh, it, oh, that's a, that's actually, I believe, a misplay, but we're not judges. <laughs> so Brandon's got to roll an evade, or Broadside's dead. Oh, and he did it. He did roll the evade. So Broadside is alive. Broadside's alive, uh, and will survive this turn because no one else has a shot on Right. That's yeah, a big deal. I'll 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 have to I'll have to scold Mark later for not remembering. I the I think it could be right. First. I think. Well, I know what I know what you're saying, but I think the reading. Plated hull reads: While you defend, if you are not critically damaged, change one crit to a hit. Yeah, but while you defend is a big area. That's that's the that, that's the modified dice step, though, isn't it? I I I could be wrong, um, but I think uh, it's if he read the rules as written, I think Brandon can do it after. Um, and and Obi Wan took a shot and and five evades from Vader. <laughs> he got four natty and just flipped the blank to another one just for. Right. Low getting a very good shot though in on Vader. Oh my goodness. But Mar but uh, Vader is completely safe with that focus though. Mm -hmm. Good thing he spent the force. Sort of he did. Him. And and what's really going to suck now is that because Broadside didn't have to spend his focus for defense to live, he's now got a four dice shot. Oh no, I'm sorry, three, three. dice shot back at Vader. Yeah. yeah. That's still quite good. But uh, Ahsoka's taking the shot first at the shuttle. So one hit. We're f Ooh, oh, that's half. That is half on the shuttle. Brandon's on the board now, and I believe a, uh, uh, not quite no. ahead of Mark, but close. It's close. I got a little confused there. The... The many dice on the table are starting to mix them up. <laughs> well, I mean, next turn you would think Broadside's dead no matter what happens. So Yeah, yeah. Like if the Defender could 4K next turn, no, no problem. Oh, sure, sure. And Vader's there, so the you know Broadside can't dodge it. It's, it's, you think Broadside's short for this world, I think. You'd think, but... Both all of Mark's ships are in an awkward position to try to get shots mm -hmm. on him. The defender, defender doing the 4K is probably the best bet he has, but Broadside's barrel roll could easily get him out of that. Look at that shot from Brandon. Oh, no. two hits and a crit on Vader, and that's Vader's shields gone. Wow, the Y wing doing some work. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, Defender's just taking a shot back at uh, Plo Koon. Mm -hmm. trying to... It's a good roll. Hit you can't crit. complain about that. We're fine here. Honestly, with full force that Plo had, that two hits, two damage was unlikely yeah, to go through. They had some hot red dice, though, on this turn. So they have far. had some pretty hot red dice. So 
So he can modify one with the force. Yeah, and he does. Might as well. No harm in it. But he's safe. Yep. God, they have so much dice on the table. It is it is getting hard to keep track of. It what is. Rolls Are we well. playing Warhammer <laughs> here? Is that what we're doing? Oh no no! There's not nearly enough dice on the table for 40k. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the the people with the the bucket fulls of dice. All right, I gotta roll this bunch twice. This is 40 dice. No joke, have had that. But uh, man, this is such a close game that could still go one way or the other. I. This is a great game, Kevin. We're, this has been a treat, man. This is an absolute delight, yeah. And I, I don't even... It's it's crazy to me, again, because of how little I've seen CLT Jedi to see these... Just having three Jedi out on the field with a Y-Wing for support. Still able to, to basically just hang around and do chip damage mm -hmm. here on Mark's shuttle. What I don't know is if they know they're about out of time. Oh so. my god, they are. Yeah, so this is go going to be the... They've already set one dial, so time has expired this round and then two more rounds. So there's going to be three right. rounds total left in this game. So we got three rounds left. Rounds left indeed. Um, yeah, so uh, the one thing I don't like about that 4K Obi-Wan did is that Obi-Wan would love to one bank here just to, to, to sure. chase Vader. But that option does not really exist for him. Vader is so juicy right now. Vader is a very tempting target for Brandon. Uh, I think Plo Koon doing a. I think two one straight bank. target lock. You think two straight target lock from Plo Koon? Yep. I'm thinking, personally, I'm thinking one bank target lock. I don't oh, know, I don't know about target lock because he does have the CLT, but. I don't think he's got room for one bank. One bank to the left? I don't think he's got room for it. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Yeah, looking at it again, I thought Plo was a little bit farther to the right. Yeah. Yeah, I think Mark's kind of in a bad position now. He is. Um, really is. I want that defender to do that 4K, but at the same time, you know... Mark's got to clean up some points on the board here. Yeah, he Ahsoka does. limping along at two, broadside at one, and the shuttle is not really in a good position to capitalize on either one. Right. I did like that two bank that he did, but um, that has effectively removed the shuttle as a blocker from the game. Mm -hmm. Which I'm... Personally, I'm not a fan of. I like I love using large base ships as blockers. Well, and because of his build, right? He's got advanced sensors, so it's a yeah. it's a natural thing for him to be in the scrum and and block mm -hmm. and still get actions or coordinate to people or whatever. So I didn't like that too hard. And he can still coordinate. Like if he does a sure. one bank, you know what? I think I think he might do a one bank with the shuttle, coordinate a barrel roll from for the uh, defender, who then does a one bank left. That's what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is the, sh the shuttle will do a one right bank, blue, clear its stress, right? Coordinate to Vader, who focuses, then takes it, spins a force to target lock, then does a 4K. I could see that too. I'd be worried that the one bank puts um, puts him out of range to coordinate. I don't think so. 
I think it'd be. I think I think he's still barely in. But that's well, he could do a one straight because he could two hard next turn if he wanted to. Good. Um. Also, Vader should be at uh two force actually. Okay. Vader doing a four K. That's fair. So he probably is going to coordinate Vader. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and and remind them that Vader should be at two force because that's okay. that's just game state. Sure, go for it. I thought he spent all his force next turn last turn. I I'm, I'm actually pretty sure he spent his last force modifying no, a green die to oh, evade and then kept his focus. No, I th I think he spent his focus for evade and then. The last evade roll he took, he rolled blank, blank. Well, evade. yeah, I think he spent his force to modify one eyeball on a previous defensive roll. Could have, could have. And then he had his focus, which he couldn't use on the last turn. That's what I think happened. So Vader, did, he did coordinate the focus to and Vader. And he didn't but spend the force. I don't get do it. Didn't anything else. Maybe because he's worried that Vader, I don't, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, Brandon is confirming that Vader did burn out on Force last turn. Okay, yeah. all right, yeah. So that's fair. I understand that then. He wants to have double mod for attack and defense. That makes sense. And Broadside's only got one health left. If, he does. He yeah, does. if the goal is to kill Broadside this turn, he can easily do it. Okay. And there's a Broadside bump with the three. That's... Man, I'm actually a, a very surprised Broadside went that far. I am too. I thought he was going to too hard. I was figuring for another one straight, honestly. Um, Maybe Brandon was thinking Cloud, and the Cloud could come into play, but the Defender will kill the Y-Wing either way. Yeah, and, and at this point, Vader's options are open where the Defender can kill Broadside, and mm -hmm. Vader has the freedom to potentially kill a so Right. Ahsoka does have a nice CLT shot on the Defender, though. I don't hate. Real question is, where is Plo Koon going? Because even that two straight you mentioned, I think, is blocked by Broadside at this point. Right, that's... that's... Oh, I, and I'm wrong. It was but a two Plo straight, though. Yeah. yeah, it was a two straight without a bump, but Plo did absorb uh, Broadside's turret indicator somehow. <laughs> that's hilarious. That, that's incredible. I've never seen that. I think it's physics, the physics engine bumping things around, and then yeah, the, yeah, the, like, the mod picks what's the closest ship. Okay, it's Plo Koon. It's hilarious. Brandon saw it. Yeah, the, with the barrel roll highlighting it, it's like, wait, how did that get there? <laughs> cool. Plokin's got a turret now. We're fine. Yeah, why, why not? Why not? That's, that's balanced, right? Yeah. So, so he fine tuned a barrel roll. What else is he going to do? It sounded yeah, like he said he was the taking target a target lock. lock. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what I saw the whole time with Vader. That's a, that was a very good call on your part. I wouldn't have... The target lock is not something I see very often, especially with CLT Jedi, sure. but... Well, since he was full force, right? Sure, 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 sure. So, Obi-Wan could boost in... He's just kind of like focus. just taking focus. Play and then use Obi-Wan's ability, right, to... Respawn focus tokens. I suppose so, yeah. Um, I keep forgetting that's Obi-Wan's ability. I always mm -hmm. just mentally treat him as a five initiative ship with three, four. And that's well, it's funny I really care about. because that's why I put Plo Koon in Brandon's list. Is it's an I-5. I didn't put it because of Plo Koon's ability. I didn't care about that at all. I've tried to make use of Plo Koon's ability, but never never succeeded. Yeah, there's because the you got the nice paint job from uh, yeah. Worlds. 
I do have, yeah, basically, yes, yeah. I didn't know which... So Vader getting two hits in on broadside. If he spends his force, he guarantees the kill. And frankly, that's what I would do. Yeah, there's a dead broadside. Just make sure he doesn't even get the chance to shoot. Yep. The question is, did he spend his force or the focus? It looks like the focus. I think he did. Given that he's got a gas cloud between him and right. uh, Plo Koon, I, I, I can understand that. Vader's a little force-starved at the moment. That's where I think the gamble is a force-starved. Because if he can get away without using it this turn, then he's it better is, off next turn. I mean, he does still have it available if he needs it. So Right. I mean, it's two dice on four and a cloud. Yeah. He does have and a target lock. I don't think Brandon's going to spend it. Prob I, if it were me, I would not, personally. Knowing that you've got two rounds after this... You have well, and then Brandon won hearts next turn, right? And he gets a shot on later. Or two sloop. Or two sloop. Oh, he's shooting... Uh, he's shooting... Uh, oh, he wants you the defender. defender for, yeah. For, for no effect, which is unsurprising. But take the shot. Miss 100% of the shots you don't take, That's right? That's right. Well, did he miss it because the defender spent his evade? No, he just rolled one nat evade and two eyeballs. So, unfortunately, oh. the defender didn't even have to spend any tokens. Gotcha. Uh, did... So, he's rolling three plus one on the defender because he's got bullseye. Yep. I'd spend the focus, dude. The three. I would absolutely. There's the only shot coming back at you is the uh, shuttle at range three, which does he spend a target problem? lock and a focus? Uh, he did spend the target lock. He's got to spend the focus. He has to. He's he's well. He's debating that range three shot from downtown on the shuttle. I. Are you kidding me? He just Did put he the target lock and not the focus? It? That doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, no, he did spend the focus. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. And Mark spending everything to take one damage, which, yeah. <laughs> We're fine here. Yeah, I was going to be very confused by not taking that four, four dice uh, on the... Well, I don't know. I, again, like... if. I, I don't blame Brandon for being nervous about the range three shot from a two dice gun because that's how that's how the green dice betray you, right? Right. They hate you. Absolutely. Wow. Meanwhile, Mark's red dice love him. <laughs> we're fine but here. We're all fine here. Everything's fine. I I I was mentally prepping for Ahsoka to just blow up because she doesn't Could. have a focus, but or at the very least take a crit. Right. So broadside is now dead, and that puts Mark at what is it? Broadside was forty one. Yeah, broadside right? was forty. I think you, you're probably right. Yep. 36 base plus 5 iron can enter it. It's a 41. Yeah. But so, the thing is, I don't see how Vader doesn't get to half this next turn. Well, that's um, it's a good question. I um, mean, one hard Plo Koon, one bank or two bank with Obi-1. Uh, one bank or two bank with Ahsoka. Three shots on Vader. There's nothing if, he can do about it. Well, yes and no. He could decide to just bail Vader out. Where would he or bail try to? as best he can. Perhaps Over the cloud? Two bank. No, I'm thinking like maybe a two bank to the right plus a barrel roll. It's still you're still taking three shots, or two, two or three shots. I think Vader goes to half this turn. It's really very do. likely. It is very likely. Um, 
I mean, Plo Koon's got a target lock. All he has to do is focus. He's fine. Yeah. Um, Obi One takes a target lock. He's got two force. What are the blue maneuvers on the tie advanced X one? I, I don't look at. I think up. it's. I know. I'm pretty sure it's a one bank. Is one of them. Okay, what? so it is one banks, two banks straights, and a three straight. Okay. Uh, interestingly, the exact same options to the uh, Jedi. It feels like a one bank might be his best option. Um, I mean, sorry, one straight is his best option. I think if he doesn't oh, he clip does. the cloud, that's that's the question. Does he clip the cloud? One straight is clear of the cloud. I'm I'm kind of hovering down at two. Yeah, I am too. One straight does. I mean, and if it was, you know, the physical game, you have the slop space, you can do even more wiggle. But oh, sure, uh, sure, sure, sure. I think he's fine. With, I think one straight's the best one because the cloud could give him some cover. Um, this is where okay. Vader desperately wishes he had a native boost. Evade. Because if or a native he did boost. The, yeah. Or a native evade, yeah. But if he did, like, say the two, the, the one bank to the left and then a boost barrel roll, and he would just be home free. Yep. Well, and that's why. I, so the the Vader I took to Worlds was passive and um, afterburners. Afterburners is such a good card for Vader. It is. That's so, where that's where he gets four actions in a turn if you have afterburners, which is yeah. ridiculous. I'm wondering where the defender is going, frankly. Because he well, can't 4K he again, can't, right? He can't. Well, no, no. No, he absolutely can. Oh, yeah, because uh, you think he Where they be were coordinated? positioned last turn. Yeah, I mean, the Defender 4K'd before Vader 4K'd, so they were... They are... The 4K is absolutely a possibility for the Defender. Oh, that's a great point. They both 4K'd, didn't they? They did. They did both 4K last turn. Um, but I... And there is the 4K, yeah. Um, it, you know, set the shot on Ahsoka to potentially kill that ship. So if you're Brandon, how do you how do you recoup the... Uh, you're down about 40, 30 points? Uh, do you well, think you go for the shuttle, or do you go for Vader? I go for Vader. Vader gets you 35 points. So right now, Brandon's down 33. If he if he does one damage to Vader, he's winning. And yeah, absolutely, that's true. But I'm thinking to myself as I'm as I'm. I, I don't disagree with you on right. that. But I'm the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm wondering if if Brandon could get an easy target on the shuttle by blowing past him. I, I think you you get half on Vader and then you. This is we got one more turn. Yeah, that's true. You get half on Vader and then you blow past five straight to the shuttle and try to kill him. Um, that's my that's my vote. And you don't even mess with the defender unless he's your only shot because you're not giving yeah. the defender to half. Probably. I'm personally, I'm worried of what what that half points on Vader costs you to te to get because they're like there's Ahsoka right there, range one of the defender. Mm -hmm. And while Ahsoka's in great blocking position for Vader, I don't know that Brandon wants to keep her there. Yeah, I mean Ahsoka could die. Absolutely. In fact, I would even say, dare say, likely if <laughs> yeah. Ahsoka stays. Well, I mean, she does have three dice. So, three nice. green dice. Uh, it's trusting your green dice for sure. So she's focusing and she's doing it's what? She's taking a target locking. lock. But who is she target locking? Probably a defender, I would guess. Maybe Vader. I think Vader is what you do. Yeah, he's target locking Vader, which I, I can understand. But I'm also thinking that perhaps Ahsoka blocks Vader, and therefore that doesn't end up doing anything. There's there's the one heart from Blue Coon. 
That, right. I definitely yeah. saw. Oh, I think all he needs to do is focus. You're fine. Just focus. Yeah, just a focus there is absolutely fine. And then um, Obi Wan does perhaps a two hard. He can't do the one. Oh, bank one. That's that's perfectly. And he's got a target lock on something. I don't know what. Uh no, the oh that looks like the uh tie defender target locked him at some point. Oh. Oh, and Vader did a three straight and bump. Oh my goodness. That's unfortunate. That's very oh no. Vader much less getting to half, Vader could die. Yep. He's gonna take four dice from Plunker and with the target lock. He's gonna, he might take four dice from two different ships. He might. Oh, uh, Brandon is debating whether to shuck uh, Plo Koon's focus token somewhere else. Oh, because he can throw it somewhere? Yeah, he can use his ability to spend that force and send the focus token to another ship. Well, I'm then... Sure if... Do you, if you spend it, then Obi-Wan could give it back to him, too. It's interesting. But we're rolling dice instead, it looks like. So it looked like Vader took a pot shot at Obi Wan to no effect, and yeah, Vader is at range one bullseye of Obi Wan as well as Plo Koon. This yeah. is bad. Yeah. This just took a did significant turn in favor of Brandon. Did Brandon sense the Vader move? Uh, no, he did not. So that was just a good guess. So three hits on Vader. Oh, so Vader's taking two damage. Vader is at now one left. Yep, one left. Yeah, I think Vader actually just dies here. Yep, he does. Unless, you know, I unless you roll blanks into blanks with Plucku, that's the only way that it doesn't happen. I think... Because he's got the eyeball. He's got the free eyeball. He's got the three dice. That's that's just four he's dice. He's got a bunch of force board. tokens, too, apparently, on the board. Yeah, <laughs> he dragged that out along with his dice there. That is yeah, not, that's that's a that's, dead Vader. He just that focuses. That doesn't even matter. He yeah. just focuses. Yeah, I forgot Plo had the target lock on Vader, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, well, that's what I was saying. That's why he didn't use it last turn. Yeah. No, no, absolutely. For sure. That barrel roll, which I didn't understand last turn, was awesome from Brandon's yeah. standpoint. So I think we're at Ahsoka's shot now. We are indeed at Ahsoka's shot. Uh, would have been nice for for Mark if uh, Vader had managed to do one more chip damage to uh, to Obi Wan. Well, look at that. Well, that's going to be four hits on the. Uh... Ah, and he's using Obi Wan to keep the Force on Ahsoka. Right. So the defender takes one more, but still a long ways. <laughs> from you do four hits on a defender and takes one damage. Yeah, that's about right. That's about right. That sounds the real, right. The real shame is that uh, oh, he's doing the shuttle shot first. That makes sense. That's fair. The real shame is that uh, Brandon couldn't get uh, going to spend the focus. Oh, that's a good shot right there. Take credit. Very good shot. So oh, so it's like gonna take damage. Yeah, it's just gonna be a crit. Spent that focus. It's gonna be yeah. a crit. Uh, she spent the focus. She had to. 
And so, now Obi Wan is out of force and can't save that focus token for us. Oh, he had another evade. I didn't see that. Okay, so Sucker's Yeah, I, yeah. He had he had one evade and one eyeball. Oh, oh no. Yeah, so Sucker's gonna take a crit for sure, even if he rolls three evades. And he didn't. And he did. That's a dead Ahsoka. Yep. But, I mean, the, the swing was big with Vader going to half and then dying. So, yeah, no. Vader dying there still puts Brand in the head by a fair march. Um, 14 points is what we're looking at. Is Brandon only ahead by 14 points? That's now? right. He's Brandon's got 101. 101 to Mark's... Uh, okay. Is this the last turn? This is now going to be last round. So I, I think you. I think Brandon goes hard into the shuttle. Tries to kill it. Yeah, I agree. Um, whether or not the shuttle... He, he can kill the shuttle. I, I don't know if he can. Because the shuttle can rear reinforce. Yeah, the shuttle can just one straight and take a rear reinforce for sure. Or two. Even. If it's last turn, who cares, right? I'd be worried about the two straight and going off the board. I don't think it will. But, but I, um, I hear you. I totally hear you. So, so Mark right now needs to get half points on. Just scratch the paint on one of these uh jedi although well he's already given a damage to obi-wan so obi-wan's the, the one that it makes sense to do right right and obi-wan's worth more too it's a fair point so i mean but don't you 4k with the defender is there any other move that makes sense I'm racking my brain over it, and I can't see anything else that makes sense there. Um, oh, yeah, I think do 4K, because then Obi-Wan will definitely be in front of you, right? Well, okay, Brandon is currently ahead. He has no need to chase the shuttle. That's a fair he point. He could just grab it and get he out. Could. He could do that. That's the, a fair the point. Onus, yeah, the onus is absolutely on Mark to recover this. Um, You're right. You're totally right. I, I, that's my instinct is to just, you know, uh, ha, you know, destroy your enemies, have them driven before you, and hear the limitation of the wind. Oh yeah, for sure. I, the only time I'll ever run ships away is if it is the last round of the game, and I'm and I'm looking at like, okay, I I just need to take no damage this round, and I, mm -hmm. win. which is exactly the position Brandon is in, and Brandon is far more readily and willing to uh to run away than I am personally. So, so there's advanced censoring a coordinated focus onto the sh onto uh interesting. Well, yeah, because they'll get an evade in a target lock. Okay, yeah, he's taking the evade, taking the target lock on Plo Koon. I'm surprised he see. takes it on Plo Koon, but you're, if Brandon... Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, and I was kind of worried about, like, I, I think the 4... I was going to say, I think the 4K is something that uh, only one could easily dodge or just bump into. So yeah. target locking Plo Koon, that does make sense. The, yeah, but now, now he boosts and it's, we're fine here. Yeah, and, and they're just to realize, they're like, yeah, boost and game's over. What a heck of a game, though. Absolutely. Holy cow! That was, I mean, that was a roller coaster from start to finish. So Brand's got one force with Obi One. I mean, he pretty much has to blink out, and the shuttle has to hit two dice on Obi One. Oh, that's right. The shuttle does have the rear arc shot on mm -hmm. Obi One. But it's going to be four dice, right? It's going to be two on four. Yep.
you know, I'm wondering if if uh, the shuttle, if uh, if Mark had coordinated a one straight boost for, on the defender, that would have been cool. And then gotten a little so more. So he could have done a six k. Yeah, I wonder if that might have might have uh, gotten something a little more juicy. Or the very yeah, least, make but sure I bet could. Mark was thinking Brandon was going to turn into the clouds. Honestly, well, the shuttle well, did his job. The shuttle's going to make a heck of a run at it. Obi Wan has one force. He's, he's fine. Safe. He's... Absolutely safe. Which is three of eight. Perfectly We're fine here. Yeah. So you My think we should? Join them in the chat in their chat because I think that's it. I think we should. That sounds like a great idea. Let's see. Hey guys, can y'all hear me? No. Hey, uh, Brandon and Mark, can y'all hear me or no? Oh, maybe they're going in the chat. Are y'all chatting in tabletop? Oh, I got to turn my sound up. Uh, or we can go into Discord, whatever you guys are. No, on that's cool. Already. This is fine. So that's fine. I'll, I'll tell. Right. Uh, I'll tell um, Kevin. Um, guys, that was an awesome game. Just awesome. It was. Hopefully y'all yeah, enjoyed it. A, that was a fun game. No, I didn't enjoy it. Game, I loved it. It was it was awesome. This was the best game I think of Grim Cup. It was incredible. Um, I mean, just the whole game was a chess match between you guys. Uh, Kevin and I were, you know, wondering what kind of moves you were going to do, and y'all just kept surprising us with better moves than we thought of the whole game. So it was awesome. I did. I did think of one one instance, earlier, which I wanna. I wanna. Ch I'm just curious if this occurred to you, Brandon, because I'm. I it. it you you you, you cut out, out there Kevin. For a second, Kevin. Oh, I did. I'm sorry. Uh, how, how is it good? Is it good now? Yeah, you're good. You're good. All right. The, the um, stabilizer on Ahsoka. The loose stabilizer on Ahsoka. Yeah. So th this occurred to me as we were talking about it, that loose stabilizer procs its damage at the same time as Ahsoka's ability. So theoretically, you could do any move you want and use Ahsoka's ability to flip the card. Did that, is that, did that occur to you and you just decided to do the two straight anyway? Or, because I don't, I think the two straight was fine there personally, but I was, I was wondering, that was a question in my head. Uh, I don't think we thought about that. Okay. No, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Brandy huh. could have two slooped there, and he could have gotten a shot on Vader, an uncontested yeah. shot. But Brief. it would be unmodded, right? He'd have to blow his force, uh, flip the the you know the card and and all that. But anyway, we were just curious. And um, I might have been I might have been close enough to pass Plokin's focus over, but. That's a good point. I hadn't thought about that. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Usually, was, I'm was... on top of Ahsoka's abilities, so good on you, Kevin. That's well. I, I mean, didn't it, even think of it. I'm sitting over here, not actually playing the game, just reading the cards. So that's my <laughs> liberty. <laughs> but honestly, as we were talking about it, the two straight still made sense anyway. So mm -hmm. fancy, but unsure if it was the right call. Either way, that was a heck of a game to to watch and to commentate. Yeah, and yeah, it was a it was quite a game to play too, man. Yeah. And Mark, you, you know, at the beginning, the four K with a defender on turn one. Um, you know, we were scratching our head, but two turns later, <laughs> when you had Vader no, was... flanking and the shuttle in the corner at a forty five, and the defenders where he started, and it's like, okay, Brandon, how do you want to come through the clouds at? Uh, it was just a great position to be in, so I thought that was just really brilliant. That worked better than I thought it would. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna be I'm gonna be kicking myself over over 
two very, very obvious times that instead okay. of doing whatever shenanigans I did, I should have just two straighted. And and one was with Vader. And and for whatever reason, I was just not thinking that he was going to shoot Ahsoka forward. And it was so obvious in retrospect. And I have no idea why I didn't think of it. And the very obvious move would have been to just two straight Vader, be protected by the Delta sitting right there. You know it's mm -hmm. going to clear. You clear your stress and you blow Ahsoka out of the water. So it's it's funny. This entire tournament, um, I have fumbled around like a dumbass with broadside, <laughs> and Ahsoka is my and Ahsoka is my ace in the hole who just does ridiculous stuff and messes everyone up in like clutch moments. Dude, I've always been on the Ahsoka train. Ahsoka oh, is Ahsoka. amazing, and everybody everybody hates on her for being PS3. She's just a damage powerhouse. No, she's fine. She's fine at, and, at, at, and at she's PS3. So if she was a five, she'd be insane. And you can take supernatural reflexes on her for so cheap too. It's well, nuts. but the thing that the reason she's I three is because she can throw her action around, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so she's just an incredible ship. Anyway, that's the first one, and the second one was this turn. This turn, I should have two straighted the defender. So, and I was just banking on him sw trying to swing past. Mm -hmm. With Plo, because of what I thought Obi was going to do was I thought Obi was going to too hard turn up mm -hmm. into these gas clouds here and, and that's just where be I thought free too. and be away. That's right. So I, 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 I knew I wasn't going to get a shot on him. And Plo was over here ish. And I thought for sure Plo was going to come down here and kind of boost in around here. Mm -hmm. um, and so I 4 k but. So, but when we looked at your defender, and I bet Brandon was thinking the same thing, I know it's the dumb, obvious mouth breather move for the defender, but the 4K was the move. That was yeah. that was the move to make. If because you, it was so obvious, Brandon could figure out how to go around it. Yeah. If and it's that, any and consolation. So that's, that's when I should have two straighted. Yeah. If it's any consolation, the two straight, I still would have gotten out of the way of, and yeah, you would have had the exact roll. same shot. He would have barrel rolled. You, th you think with you think with Plo, you still could have gotten out of it. Well, even but if Plo he doesn't, have... Plo's full. It's Obi One that's not. As long as yeah, Obi One's the shot, you would have won. Well, right. Yeah. But, but that I would have rolled three dice instead absolutely, of Absolutely. But that was an absolutely <laughs> impossible shot. There, there was no universe where I got to shoot Obi Wan that turn. All with, right, with the defender. That's right. Like that's what I decided, which is why I coordinated. And that's the and that's my point. Target line Plo. The thing so to remember I, I just with needed the defender... hail mary and hope you roll blanks. But the thing to remember with defenders, if you had gone the two straight, then I would have just boosted right instead of left and then and barrel rolled out if I needed to uh, make room yeah. for Obi Wan. Yeah, I, I don't think I, yeah. I think with initiative, I don't think you should beat yourself up, Mark, because they're they're freaking Jedi and you're I one. They can do whatever the hell they want. Yeah, so, no, def definitely the the only I think the the biggest move that def uh, determined the game was that block on Vader and just. Not my move, too, but Brandon's pitch perfect kill box. Absolutely. That, that was, Jedi, pretty that was, good. That was a thing of beauty. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was, uh, that was, as I was walking into it, I was admiring how gorgeous it was. <laughs> that was. That was the point where Charles and I were watching, like, okay, Brandon needs to get one more damage to, to get half points on Vader. And our oh, commentary and, oh, suddenly and, switched oh, to, oh, oh Vader's and, oh, dead. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, I had. Just, so I had my little points calculation going, and I was uh -huh. like, okay, if I just like Vader gets to half. Okay, right, oh, oh, oh no, oh he's oh, oh okay, yeah he's done. So that probably I can't really take credit for any of it. Charles built the list, so that's <laughs> no, nice. you got to fly it. But um, <laughs> the to me the unheralded great move of the game, Brandon, uh, was when you had uh, Plo Koon about where Obi Wan sitting right there, and you barrel rolled to the right in front of that middle cloud. And you had a target lock on Vader, and you didn't spend it. That was awesome. Yeah. Because next turn, I was like, okay, I, <laughs> I, I can see the future. He's going to one hard take a CLT target lock focus shot at Vader. And there's nothing so here's Vader the funny thing. Yeah. I'm on the edge of my seat, Brandon. You said, here's the funny thing. We don't hear you. I don't know. He may have dropped... <laughs> Brandon, we so can't hear you. Ran. There you go. You're back. You're back.
so weird. I never left, but it like cuts out. I don't get it. Mm. Anyway, yeah, when he did the 4K, um, I set everything up the previous turn when he was going to do the 4K because I sensed it. Right. And then um, not through skill, through the card. Oh, um, here, I was going to give you credit for that one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he to be fair, one. I figured he was doing the 4K. He mm-hmm. could have done a three talent to the left, but I figured he was doing the 4K. I, I, I guess. And the then 4K I sensed too. it, and sure enough, that's what he did. Yeah. I knew once he did that, he was going to be where he was uh, relative to the cloud. So that's why I rolled out of arc and took the target lock because I knew where he was going to be the next turn. And I was like, one way or another, I'm going to get that, that bullseye. Mm-hmm. And so that's that's why I just held on to it. Absolutely. I a few shots through through clouds just going, eh, I'm not going to do anything, but if I get really lucky, I might make him spend a token. Now, you practice some good self discipline, uh, Brandon, throughout the match, which eventually paid off, I think. Um, but I mean, it's, it's tough. And uh, I, I think y'all both played an excellent game. Just excellent. You did. My one complaint is that, oh my god, there were so many dice on the table at a certain point. It got <laughs> yeah. a little confusing what was going on. That's fair. No, we, I think we uh, Yeah, we kept points. our own dice pools, and I always try to keep my dice down toward my side of the board and, mm-hmm. and all that stuff. No, it's oh, cool. Oh, sure, sure, I even, sure. And I even try to put my, my bullseye die like way off to the side and everything. Mm-hmm. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Still got but, yeah. lost and thought he took a damage more than he did. <laughs> that was yeah, a fantastic was game, y'all, though. Great plays on both sides, frankly. Well, this is a trait we appreciate, you guys. And it's, you know, they were in the chat, Twitch chat, talking about how they weren't sure who to root for in this game. And like I told them, you guys are both great players and just good guys. And uh, so happy you guys are in the community and we got to see this game. It's awesome. So thank y'all so much. Well, thank you, man. Thank you for streaming it. Yeah, it's good for people to be able to sit and watch it. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, good luck next to everybody. Absolutely. Yeah. Good luck, guys. When do you play, Charles? I play Saturday at one o'clock. Saturday at one o'clock. Sounds okay. good. Awesome. I try to tune in. I don't know that I have anything. Well, I mean, I don't on. know if anybody's streaming it. I'm just playing it at one o'clock on Saturday. If someone's up for it, I, let me I know. mean, I. I'm pretty sure someone's going to end up streaming that game. It's going to be a Sith Swarm versus the predatory Drea Swarm with the Dorsal Turret, which I think is better. Never mind. I don't want to have anything to do with that. It's <laughs> it's going to be a lot of cheap ships blowing up is what it's going to I, be. I, I, don't, I don't. We'll see. <laughs> so I'll bring coffee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It may not be a long game. Two, variants two, two, can make two turns that, later. That variance can make that game shift wildly one way or the other. So I mean, I played a match. You know, you're you're you basically shifted a little bit to the list I was running right with right, but with the mining guild tie. And I played a match against a six form, in, I think in my first or second round, and it went. I mean, those Z's with crack do a lot of damage, man. No, they're they're good. The extra shield, huh? It turns yeah. out they're good. And the I three turns out they're good. Right. Huh. And it was actually really funny yesterday because Kevin was playing a match against one of the Idea Squad guys who was running his six swarm. And uh on the commentary, the Idea Squad guys were like, and here's where you know you're gonna start seeing just how much better the sick chassis is than the Z. Like <laughs> how how much it just outclasses the z okay and the very next thing that happened is that kevin rolled hit crit with one of the z's and blew up a sick <laughs> it was like two se- <laughs> two seconds later uh, the z just randomly blows up a sick mm-hmm. and, and and yeah so yeah. who knew that the, crits the z, hurt the z chassis has some has some stuff to it oh it's it's underpriced for sure probably yeah Awesome. Well, I'm going to have to say goodnight to y'all. Yeah, you too. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to be jumping off too. Uh, thanks, all. This was a lot of fun, actually. Thank you. And Kevin, it was a pleasure. It was. I enjoyed you. Appreciate you. Absol- out. Absolute delight commenting with you, Charles. I'd love to do it again sometime. Let's do it. And Brandon, it was a pleasure. All right. Y'all have a good one. Thank y'all. You too. All right. Have a good night. You too.